Hey guys, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. And guys, I want to show you something that I have been making. So I have this um, wax seal melting kit that I had gotten from, uh, what's the company? Craspire last year. And this is the seal that I have. That's the only one I have. And I do need to order me a bunch more from Timu. I've seen that they have some different ones and I have some in my cart, but I haven't placed the order yet. But this is a butterfly and it's really, really pretty. So all the wax um, melt thingies that I have, I melted them and I made seals out of them. So I'm gonna show that to you now. But before I show you the ones that I did with the wax, I'm gonna show you this ones. Uh, and I hope you can see, can you see? So you see the butterfly right there on both of them. I just put one in my hand. So this is glittery. Can you see the glitter? Well, this is actually um, this thing here. The silicone um, thingies that you buy. Um, this is glittery. So. I didn't put it in my um, glue gun. It's better if you do it that way though. If you put this stick in your hot glue gun and squeeze a lot of um, hot glue and stamp this, it will be better than using it with this thing because I did this at the end when I was done working with the wax and I put the this thing in here and it melted but it's kind of thicker than the wax, so it kind of got stuck in here. And when I was trying to get it out of the spoon, it was harder. It wasn't as smooth as the wax, but it still works because look, but it's better if you use your hot glue gun instead of that little thingy. Okay, so those are the ones made out of uh, hot glue. Okay, now these are the ones made out of wax. Let me show you. They came out so beautiful. I made so many different colors and they came out cool. And look, I have this thing. It's a, it's a chewing gum box and I put them all in there and they fit perfectly. And they won't break or anything. They'll be stored nicely here. So yeah, I love that. But look at some of the colors. So this, this blue ones are from wax that I had gotten from Timu. All these blue ones, look how beautiful. I mean, they're huge. First I was making them little, but then they weren't looking so pretty. The edges weren't too rounded because it didn't have too much wax. So then I start putting like six little uh, flower thingies because it came in the shape of a flower. So I put like six of them in the spoon and then they started looking prettier because they were too, too flat, too small and I wasn't liking them. Their edges weren't rounded. But look how beautiful. This is like a blue and it has a white, it has a little bit of purple. Oh my gosh, they're just so, so beautiful. You know, this is the same, this is like a blue and a white. And even the back of them, look how beautiful that looks. So pretty. So I made them on a, on a marble block that I have. And it was super, super, super easy to remove them from the marble blocks. Look. That's a blue one. You can tell I have been crafting. My fingers are full of glue. <laughs> this one is blue and white and I think a little bit of purple, but can you see how it looks? Look at the different colors, you guys. Look at the back. So cool. I love the back. Look, this one has some purple on the back. So it depends on what um, little wax flower or whatever shape you have you put in the bottom of the seal the bottom of your spoon 
is what you're gonna get at the top and I realized that at the end <laughs> I wasn't paying attention but yeah look at that one this is just blue like a little light blue see it doesn't have any other colors and look at this one this one has purplish also see but I put that at the end so that was in the bottom it wasn't at the top but yeah you guys I love them look at this oh my gosh I know you're probably bored already at looking at the wax seals this one is the one with the hot glue thingy and the glittery and so I made just three of those I will make more using my hot glue gun but look at this one this is pretty it has like um like a dark pink some peach and some yellow you see i'm trying to put it super close so you can see the details uh when i received the this the colorful ones like this ones and this one the orangey and uh, those are from crosspire they sent me colorful wax and just the blue and purplish and greenish those are from timo love that yellow one look at this one this is huge but i really like it it's in green and it has some yellow also in it and then i went over the butterfly with this gold marker that you see here that i received from crasspire look at the back so pretty it's so big and chunky it's cool though because you know sometimes you want a more delicate one or sometimes you want a bigger one for you know a bigger project this one I also put some of that gold um, marker over it and first I just went over around the butterfly with the marker but the line was too thick so what I did I went with my finger you know your handy dandy finger and I smudged it all over it, the butterfly. And that's why you see that it has some yellow around on the edge, on the inside edge, because I went with my finger and I really like the way it looks now because it was too, um, the line was too thick. So I wanted to have some color, but not that thick line. So I think I like the way it looks. And I have more of the blue ones here. Look at those look at this one so this one is kind of small but i left it see so pretty so i cannot wait to order some other designs for now the butterfly is perfect i have quite a lot so you know i'm going to be using this look at those look at that pink one it's a soft pink and i also put some yellow some gold uh, marker on it just to make sure the butterfly was more visible look that's glue on my finger <laughs> look at that one i like that color so pretty so yeah you guys oh my gosh this is so much fun um i really really enjoyed uh, making them and look at this one this is like a mixture of gold and bronze and yellow and you know when I was mixing the different colors you can see right there the blue and the bronze you know I was I started by mixing the lighter colors first so I did the pinks and then I did the yellows and then the peaches but then when you um, start continue with the other colors you know you start mixing all the colors like i said i didn't do it like the darker colors first i did the the lighter color first but you were still getting like a residue on your spoon and that's why i was getting some yellow in here also you see but i like it i like the way it came out look at the back of this one you see the peach and the yellow and the white oh, so pretty look at that so yeah you guys oh my gosh there's another one another blue here from uh timo waxes and this was from crosspire this is black it has black and it has silver can you see 
you can't really see the butterfly match in this one and i tried to go over with the silver marker but it was dry it didn't work maybe i'll go with the um, gold one but since it was silver i didn't want to put gold in it but you know this one you can see better i think yeah yeah this one is black so i might use that for like halloween and this is another bronze one look i really like the the mixture of colors in here the bronze and silver and like a terracotta look at the back they're as prettier in the back as in the front i think yeah you guys so those are my wax seals as you can see i have quite a lot i hope you give this a try if you don't have the wax uh, try your hot glue gun idea and see how that works but use the hot glue gun instead now i'm gonna have to clean this better because it still has some you know hot glue in there and those little tea lights i got from dollar tree for like christmas time so i have eight of them to play with because they go down here okay you guys i'm gonna put them away and i hope you get inspired to play with your wax seals <laughs> bye guys love you have a good day bye now